Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestriate War. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now we must talk about the Grafonian Republic and their invitation for us to join the Republican Pact. Now, right now, we cannot join their faction, but we can agree on a mutual defense, or we just say no. But I asked you guys yesterday, on the last video, what we should do. And overall, you guys overwhelmingly supported that we should at least agree on a mutual guarantee. So, let's go and do that. And we've got quite a few comments to go through. But I asked at you guys at the end of last, or maybe the beginning of the last video, if we got that video to about 75 likes, I would do every single political path, at least on this side of the focus tree. Because I do want to maybe do the monarchy path some other time. But if the last video got at least 75 likes, we will go down and play the communist path, not aligned as well as supremacy path so overall you guys did a tremendous job with that so i really appreciate your support guys so we will be doing every single one of these paths at least on this side of the focus tree for the future so but currently we're still at war our, i completely forgot that we were still literally at war but probably not for very long with the scoff or republic joined as well huh and there is a republican pact up there oh they're right there too look at that that's kind of nice and the count county of adelard has capitulated thank you very much for playing county uh, let's see. Very good. Alright, so, we're doing anti-monopoly laws, which is very, very nice. But, as one of the comments did say, Ooh, we should take out the House of Avian before the Empire takes him out. Oh, we need more deputies. Ooh, that is not good. Ooh, that is very not good. Make sure we do that. Ooh, we have 220. Can we rush 30 more deputies? Ooh, that might be a wee bit of a problem here. 15 more could support. We need 250, though. So we need to do this twice. Wow. And, of course, we're going to need, need even more deputies as well. So which one is the faction that's the weakest right now? Because we were trying to cut down ideological support for the enemies. Or for not enemies, but other ideologies earlier. But it looks like the supremacists have a lot of deputies. So maybe we'll go with some supremacy for now. Because, well, I didn't realize, but we did need that a whole bunch. But from the Jeu de la Main, we need 250 here as well. Oh, well, alienate a lot of people, and we these people won't be alienated. Cultural pluralism. Oh, it'll alienate even more people. Do we want to do that? We get more compliance growth speed, which is great, but... They're going to alienate even more people by doing these. So we'll probably want to wait, so they can get this one done. As well as the form of Jeudarme, Jeudarme. I do not speak French. I do my best, but let us continue with... Ooh, what do we want to do? Economic projects sound like a lot of fun. Let's do that one. While there are many industrial initiatives in Aquilia, few of them are valuable. We will form a special commission to stern director industry. It will be given a plentiful budget to fund projects until they acquire enough know-how and size to compete on the world stage, which is very, very good. Oh, changing occupy polar bear lands. Very, very cool. All right, so here, let's go and reform these guys just a little bit better. In which, we shall probably go ahead and just do a, if we can possibly go to war with those guys, Something like this. So we have all of our soldiers already on the border. And even though they have no planning, it is what it is. Are you guys going to go to war with them soon? Why do you keep doing that, guys? Why do you keep doing that? But we do have a little bit of manpower. We are mobilizing for more pony power. FJA on the rise is currently over. Well, that sucks. Let's see. Let's see. Someone says we should go with the combat part of the Griffin race tree. So I did ask you guys yesterday as well, or at least in the last video, whether we should go messenger bird enchantments, or messenger enchantments, versus... Quick, quick hitter, someone said go with the combat path. Well, technically, these both involve combat. Like, more attack and pair drop attack versus defense and breakthrough. So, overall, what well, we will be going with the messenger enchantments. So, we'll definitely be going down this route. So, we could start going down that route. Uh, you know what? We'll do one. So, I don't forget about it. Let's do one, at least, for now. Additionally, let's see. Yeah, you guys recommend we do uh, mutual defense. Someone says... Oh, actually. Uh, yeah, I already went... Sorry. Oh, a question reckon has the Gryphonian Republic. Nice. My apologies. There's just a lot of comments I'm trying to get through that I wrote down here as well, but we did get some encryption down as well. Very good. Mm, radio, because we like radio here. And then, refurbish the Pridey and Shipyards. That could be pretty good. We start battleship development, synthetic rubber. Ooh. Machine tool modernization. The modern world is no longer one of sweat and honed skills, but one of buzzing and whirling machines. If we are to continue our, on our path of modernization, we'll have to invest significantly in our machinery. It may not be the most refined task, but it is certainly a necessary one. So, we have 235. We can whip the party. Oh, we're gonna whip, 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 son. And then, oh, actually, do we... Actually, no, let's, let's wait. Let's wait. Because by the end, we should have 250. And that should put us right at the edge of having enough political power. Store for the next few days, right? Alright, so we're 250. Good thing to wait. And which, 
Let's come down here and do the liberation of Lointainu. The lands of Varenia have been torn between the influences of the Hetzlanders and the Quillians for centuries. The western half of the Duchy of Varenia, Lointainu, once was once part of Aquilia and retains its Aquilian identity to this day. The local griffins have suffered much from the Varenian civil war and yearn for liberation from monarchical anarchy. Let us attack, then ensure the Imperials never rule these lands. Very good. And having them under, as cord places would be really, really good as well. Uh, mobilization speed. Mm. But, okay, so I was told by the devs that apparently this, I'm on the beta. The beta version, at the time of this recording, this is still part of our beta. Ooh, 5%. Ooh, that's not bad. I like both of these guys. So, ultimately, even though I'd like to, we will not be able to have the Republic join us, or we cannot join the, the their faction, the Republican Pact, which kind of sucks because of a bug. So I did ask you guys whether we should do collaborate connection or on our own. So we'll probably have to go with on our own just because I don't want to have a bug. As well as I was told that we need to have Griffenheim as well over here. So <clears throat> I just want to keep you guys aware of what's going on and issues because this is technically what I'm playing on here is still the beta, but it is what it is. Even though you guys, some of you guys did recommend we do go and uh, <laughs> join them anyways. The Republicans packed, so cool. Regardless, I think we're doing quite well. Now, if we could core these guys a little bit faster, that'd be great, but I think we're doing pretty darn well anyways. Oh, liberation. Very good. And now we can spend investing the people. Ooh, more research speed. Limit the uh, presidential executive. Well, we could. Cut. This focus will lower, cut the amount of political power needed to take political decisions by half. Well, that's not too bad. Cultural pluralism will alienate a lot of people. This will alienate a lot of people. I don't want to alienate people too much. I do like less resistance, but we'll probably go with cultural pluralism because we might as well get through it first. While all the griffins of the periphery may now bask in the glory of our freedom, many of them are unwilling to accept other aspects of Aquilian culture while in a perfect world. We would love it if they eventually accepted the Aquilian way of life. We recognize that this is unlikely to ever happen. Instead, we must emphasize a multicultural outlook on all, in all territories we rule. Nice. Very nice. What is this? Urban... Oh. Wait, so we can urbanize it? Look, oh. You can do that all over the place. Develop the Pride and Arms factories. Is that... Oh, it's all over here. Okay, I was wondering what was going on. Like, what's going on here? I, d I didn't see this stuff earlier, so... Building slots. Um, let's get some more civvies first. It costs five civvies, which I don't like, but... Sometimes you gotta spend a lot of peepee -pee or some, you know, civvies to make some civvies. So keep making some civvies. We love the cities. All right, so let's go ahead and can we really go to war like this? Hmm. You know what? Screw it. Um, let me readjust this one more time. My apologies. I feel like I'm all over the place with this episode. Oh man, I do apologize. All right. All right. We should be able to blow through them pretty quickly, but you never know. I'll do a few forts here and there though. Three. Two. One. Let's head on in. Oh, Annex, yeah. And there they go. Very, very nice. Let's see if we can beat them all up. Okay, they're gone. Not bad. Oopsie. Oopsie, uh, did I screw that up a little bit? I'm gonna screw something up there. Let me double check that real quick. Alright, everyone, so I've realized what I did, and I did not satellite the House of Irie before we finished the peace So now they're a puppet of us. We couldn't annex them because they weren't technically at war with us. But they're under us now, so which is not too bad. At least we got them under us, and they kind of love us, actually. So that's not too bad. They love us. They better love us. They better love us. Are, are they still, They're not in a faction now. No, no, they're part of our faction. So yes, they are in a faction, but our faction, my friends. I just hope I don't screw up my pronunciations too much more or my words are slower or anything here. I probably will. So my apologies ahead of time. Alright, so we have a big old border with these guys now, which is probably not a good thing. Not gonna lie, probably not a good thing here, but um, I think we'll probably do okay. Probably, probably, hopefully. They just have a lot of dudes over there. Boom, boom, da boom, something like that. We'll see. And actually, you know what? To make it easier on ourselves for right now, split these guys in half, split these guys in half as well. Oh, there you go. Just so that we can just throw as many divisions in here as possible. There you go. That's hopefully going to be okay. Let's get some divisions or generals. Let's see. Eagleheart. Looking pretty cool. 
uh, Morningstar, because you're purple, because we like colors here. And Gerard Simon de Berger, why not? Very nice. Upgrades, Gabriel, a gift from Flowina is gone. Alright, so be it, so be it. Oh, we lose critical power. Falcor surrenders to the Kingdom of Wing Body. Oh boy. As well as Gilbert, as well as Jean. Uh, we're kind of okay. Morning Star, very good. As well as Eagle Heart. Uh, we might get Scavenger later on. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, we still need to make more divisions. Our guys are only 20 combat width, which is not bad. Not bad. And we did expand our division combat width to become 20 width last time. We do have a quite a bit of anti air, which we might want to use. We also have mage companies as well. Anti air. Huh? Do we have enough for anti air? No, we do not. Too bad. You will use it. You will use it. All right, and cultural pluralism. Very nice. So we can't do anything else over here, which is fine. Because eventually, it was warned to me that we do need, what, 300 deputies or something like that? Maybe eventually? 275? Something like that. Oh, we need 300 over here. Wow. Very cool. But let's continue with this. So that one? No, it was uh, this one. Machine tool modernization. If you'd like to read this one again, please go right ahead. Yeah, I think we read this one. Yeah, cool. Whip the party. We love whips. Only 205. Oh, that is not bueno. But we do have some more political power. And we do want this one. Oh. Did something happen? Maybe it was just change in temperature or something. I don't know. Right, that's very nice. It's 10-10, everyone. I hope you're having a great, great year. Did I do anything here yet? I have not done anything here yet. Oh, my goodness. What is wrong with me? Too many things, probably. All right. So, Conquest by Rice by Philip Redglad. A book written by Philip Redglad tells us a story about the struggle of the Griffins of Prywen, as well as the new economic formation he is planning to institute in Prywen. Philip Redglad critiques feudal societies most of the Griffin nations possess. He proclaims the right of every creature for well-being at less working hours and that the main aim of a social state is technological innovation, which shall lead to automation, freeing the population from hard labor. The Communist Party in our country obtained a copy of the book and is now being published and publishing it for everyone to read. Censor the book? It doesn't matter. Ah, censor it. We love censorship as a harmonious society. Uh, organization soft attack. Factory output would be pretty nice, but we're doing pretty darn well already, so I'm not too pressed about that. Now, we could come back over here and get some more construction speed, because we could definitely use that. Hmm. I love me some civvies. And holy cow, we gotta definitely improve the infrastructure here. Oh my goodness. Even though we do get rail lines later on, but this is just, just in case for the future. Just in case arenos. We got plenty of guns, except for anti-air, of course. I would like to get more army XP. Um, where is the anti-air stuff? Field Hospital 1s, yeah, that would be, probably be pretty useful. Let's grab some more output as well for now, though. That's pretty nice. Uh, military factories, yeah, you know what? You guys come up here first. Finish this one off first. I want at least three full lines of 15 out of 15 factories, so yeah. There you go, finish it up first. Mobile defense is nice. Let's grab some integrated support because I love, love, love support companies. Probably way too much. Machine tool modernization. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. National Geographic Geological Survey. We could do that. We could probably do that, right? Yeah, I could probably do that. Why not? But we'll probably do synthetic oil experimentation. When it comes to oil, Aquilia has not been in the has not been in the worst situation. With a close proximity to the Lassay oil fields and historical ties with Saudi Arabia, we've had our luck, but the world is ever changing and we ought to explore synthetic fuel. Abundance and dependence is a dangerous combination to entrust. Alright, what else can we do? We have 222, 55% support. Not enough. Then again, what is ever enough for me? Uh, we'll grab that because we can as well. We probably want to get some better artillery though as well. That's probably a good idea. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, so nice. So nice. 15, alright, I said it, we, we do it. So let's get some more military factories because we definitely going to need some. How is compliance looking? We've got a lot of support. Oh, Catherine Principalty. Oh, yeah, go over that direction first. Griffonian Empire. Advanced machine tools are very, very boy. No, improved artillery, those are going to be very, very important as well. Uh, once we get to 40%, we can pretty much score everything here, which will be muy, 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 muy bueno. Bueno to the max, some might say. <clears throat> artillery look is looking very nice. But I do want 40 combo with infantry as well. I, I like my infantry thick. Incredibly thick. So, thank you for playing. Good, but goodbye. And we'll duplicate this and call it the fours. Even though I still remember, we can upgrade our you know, doctrine, our trees, and stuff like that. But Or the special upgrades. But I want to make sure that we live when we fight the Griffonian Empire. So, that would probably be very, very good. Alright, so we are out of infantry or army XP, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. But we're going to win the party because we can. 
Synthetic oil experimentation, Aquilian standards, more construction speeds, sign us up! Aquilian industrial output has been long been either poor quality or bound by outdated methods. And while the Republicans did help when it comes to industrialization, it was Colbert who proposed that Aquilian industry should seek quality rather than quantity to compete. It is time to implement the Valour Qualité. Qualité. Very cool. Go and do that. And we have 220. We need even more, though, unfortunately. Alright, so since we're here, I want more civvies. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, millies are not bad. I prefer civvies right now, though. That's enough. We've already spent enough civvies for now. We need more support. Hmm. We currently have 55% support. So we need 275. To, you know, really 250, but... Ooh, no, the path doesn't like us. Well, that's not a point, no. That's not a point at all. Oh, there goes the Principality. Not bad. And we do have quite a bit of current army XP as well. Improved artillery is nice. What happens if we throw an armored recon, though? Ooh, we do get a slight bit of armor. It is not very much, though. It's not very much. And I did want to throw on fear hospitals as well. So, hmm. Let's grab the anti-air next. We can at least get anti-air upgrades next as well. Tanks, how are we doing? Heavy tanks, armor, max speed, I like speed. Aquilian standard, and... Oh, we can do this one next. It will alienate more people, but we do have to do this. More political power gain, that would be really nice. It won't really matter too much. Less resistance record, but this is not bad either. Education is a fuel of the f for the future of our nation. If we do not invest in our young griffins, then how will they go forward to eventually improve Aquila as a nation? The goal is, one, that we should not just pay lip service to, but take true action in order to better the future prospects of our nation. Very good. All right, it is 10-11, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Improved computing machine would be very, very nice. Changing question border. Very good, very good, very good. And invest in the people. It's always good to invest in people at least a little bit, right? Us Barleos, hope you're not going to go attack us. Oh, yeah, if they attack us, that's not very good then. Ooh, we might need more military then. Hmm. Uh, do we even have divisions on the front? Well, we kind of do-ish, somewhat. Somewhat, so... There you go. What are we missing? Anti-air, so we should greatly improve anti-air capabilities. Oh, nice. The new father of Aquilian fine cuisine. Oh, we'll read that very, very soon. Um, 160 days, you know what, we need more output. We'll go ahead and with a uh, penalty to the head of time. Three years now. The name Gustave Le Grand has been known far and wide as the greatest representative of Aquilian gastronomy. A master in his own home, and he traveled the world, even famously traveling to Equestria to participate in culinary contests, including with the famed sweet tooth Pinkie Pie, but now, he truly entered culinary history by writing a full gastronomical encyclopedia. Released last year, the book detailing every aspect a true chef would need to reproduce the experience of Aquilian fine dining. The book has been a massive success and caught the attention of the Assemblée Nationale. In a rare display of unity, the députés voted near unanimously for a resolution to award the chef with the highest civilian honor with which the president readily gave to Gustave in front of the press and a delegation of Aquilian cooks. The event also took the public by surprise when Gustave Le Grand offered to help both design cooking lessons in public schools and establish guidelines and standards for school canteen menus. Gustave argued that the art of gastronomy should be learned at an early age, both by making tasting and by making and tasting. Though some dismiss the idea as friv frivolous and wasteful, many deputies and a big chunk of the public seem to be enamored with the idea of fine cuisine making its way into Aquilia schools. Nevertheless, rumors abound about the great cook opening a gastronomy school for cooks and other professions dedicated to the arts of the dinner table, and never before has Aquilia salivated as much. The seeds of a new generation of cooks have been planted, and I do want to say this, I think maybe not every event, but most of the events here, they always seem to have a little something in the end, so if you read through everything and then you get to, get to the final point, it makes it so nice, because you read so many events where you just like, you read about the history and, and you know, the context about things, it's just cool, but this actually, it feels like it rewards you for reading something here, you know, it, I don't know, it just feels nice. Maybe I'm looking into this too much, but it just, it feels pretty good. Whoop the party. Um, 15 deputies. Well, we don't have that much, so what if we did? Mm, we could just get the pat. We'll do that one. And then we'll whip the party. I don't like doing that, but... And I know last episode we actually tried to hurt their support as well, but it is what it is. Oh, we can't whip the party. Oh, every single part... Oh, every single one of them supports us. Well, god dang it. Well, ah... Uh, I don't want to hurt ourselves anymore. Uh, did something happen here? Hmm. Oh, work with these guys. We'll support the president. Ooh, I guess we could. That'll lower us by a little bit more, though. Invest in the people. Oh, well, it's going to hurt us anymore anyway, so. It is what it is. Let's keep focusing on our industry, though. Electronics investment? With the Industrial Revolution still roaring, we can distinguish the seeds of a new and different revolution. While mechanization has strengthened the social muscles, electronics seem to be able to tune the social mind and voice in ways we haven't seen since the printing press. This time around, we won't miss the boat of modernity. 
Let's hope not. We could definitely use more support from other factions as well. Oh boy. Alright, so we have 2-2-3, two, two, which is not bad. Not great, but not bad. Oh man, is there any other way we can get some more support, perhaps? Anti-air is nice. Let's grab the anti-air upgrades. We can throw them and start making that, which will be very good. Oh, to create the, oh, the Scandinavian Socialist Republic. Skyfall Republic, huh. Military development, training exercises, that's okay. Hmm. I don't want to hurt our support anymore because I don't want to lower this at all. So, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because every single one supports us. Poach deputies. Change in harmony. Uh, there you go. We, we can do that one already. Uh, we can do that one too. Why not? Lower this by a little bit more. Hmm. With effect from a coalition. Curtail. Work with these guys. Well, we'll try it. 223, and does it drop any further? It probably will, since none of these guys support us. Oh, more divisions. Nice. Uh, we're going to have to form a new army here just in case. I don't trust those dudes to the south. No, 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 no. There you go. Good luck, Simon. Simon. Guybord. Uh, actually, no. Why don't you guys go? There. There you go. 223, and by doing this, what do we get? Garbage? Maybe? We got slightly more support. Slightly more. Um, this is going to hurt us a little bit more, but eventually once we have less than 45% support, then we can whip the party some more, maybe? So, we'll see. Refer to the Pridean stuff? No, National Geological Survey. Aquilia soils much like its people, full of potential and yet so often untapped. We will send our brightest minds and engineers around the nation and seek new ventures, and if they fail to find worthwhile deposits, it may still produce some happy accidents. Not bad. Oh, the Great War, very nice. I wonder if we can send volunteers. That should be pretty useful. 229 goes up to 235. Not bad. Um, okay. We have... How much? Four, oh, come on. We need 45%. Not 46%, man. Come on. We can work these guys well. And that'll lower us a little bit more. So we can get it to 250. Good, good, good. How are we looking here? Not... Oh, we're looking too good. Actually, too good. Just go ahead and invest everything here, then. Because we need more millies. We need a much bigger uh, military, so... Uh, 90%, 20%, 50 for 50, 50, and then, um, 30, I guess. It's fine. Make all those factors, because we need them right now. Improve whatever we have. Oh, there we go. 240, 241. Improved anti-air, it's very bueno. And we can grab that too, why not? Alright, not bad. Let's see what happens. 241, can it jump up to 250? Probably not. Nah, it's not going to do that one. Whip the party, there we go. Now we're going to whip them. So we get 15 more, so that's actually not too bad. So we'll have just, just barely enough. Yes. Yes. Almost do a day is very nice. All right, up next. And can we do anything else here yet? No, we cannot. So, military factory, design companies, create this. Oh, railways. Oh, we, I'm doing railways. No, roads, 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 roads. Despite the great progress that Aquilia has made in recent years, transportation still remains woefully outdated. One of Colbert's great plans was the design of a state-owned railway company that would seek to create a whole network of affordable rail transportation and cargo. It's time to make it happen. Come on, come on. 256, we got it. We got it. We can do that next. All right. So we're not at war yet with anybody, which is good. I guess we have to form the Jedame. While the idea of oppressive state surveillance in the very memory of La Chouette strikes a chord of fear and hatred in all of Aquilians, we recognize that there is a need for protection amongst Aquilians. Not to spy on our own citizens, but to protect us from foreign agents, and to conduct operations abroad, of course. They may, at some points, need to operate domestically, but there we can only do our best. Uh-oh. Skyfall. Oh, uh, it might be time for a little bit of conflict. Oh boy. Are we ready for this? Probably not. Um, and they'll, they'll probably, like, say, like, Hey, you wanted us to help you out, or, uh, we, we pledged to help each other out, man. Go do that one, yeah, that's better. Uh, maybe we should stop training, then. Hmm. Can I go to war with these guys immediately? Or, we gave them a guarantee, right? So they'll probably call us in, so that'll be good. Curtail, work with these guys, now we're good for now. Um, we could give them more resources. I like the resources, but we're doing pretty darn well in all the resources. So, guys, would you... Can we come in? Like, we're, I'm, we're ready to go. It's like... Let's, let's go, please. Please? I'm pretty sure we... Maybe... Hmm? Council on Aggression Pact. I can send volunteers. Well, okay. 
Eros, did he get an update for his portrait? He looks really cool. Doesn't look exactly what I remembered. Just in case, we're going to just fight anyway, so. Yeah, so send him, uh, or make him think about what they're doing. All right. T56, trade with Skyfall. We can probably close this one out. We're pretty much ready to go. Create that snaka, snaka. All ponies front. Very cool. And we shall go with Fon Jedarami Hawawawa. Exactly. I pronounce things very well. Wow. Wait. Five? Political power for, for one infrastructure. Bruh. That's a lot of PP used up, but... Nice. Just just five PP? That might be a little bit OP, but that's okay. Oh, this, is not, this is really not good with these guys. Oh man, we better go in as fast and as hard as possible. Uh, it's 10, 11 planes. We have not focused on planes at all so far, which is not very bueno. Alright, so it looks like we're going to get attacked pretty harshly. Oh, these guys are dying so fast. Deploy you guys, because I'm going to actually throw you guys back up here next. Train if you need to. Uh, we're st oh, we're actually not out anymore. That's actually really good. A sack of Skyfall. Oh, boy. Description, side channel attack. Not bad. Grab some more radar, because we could probably actually build up a little bit of radar here as well. That'll be good, and that'll be good. Get another military factory going, too. Oh, there you go. Because we're going to need a lot of stuff here. We're going to need, we're going to get a lot of army XP where we're headed. There you go. Very good. Whip the party. Uh, that's not worth it because we only have two more support, so we're going to wait. Region development. Wow. This is a lot of stuff, isn't it? This is quite a bit. The Empire Strikes Back. All right. So, at this point, maybe it's not a good idea to go to war then. Um... That is really not good. Now, if they attack us, that probably won't go very well. We don't... Do we have enough... We don't have enough army XP, do we? Do we? Well, we might actually have enough army XP for this. 40 combat with, yeah, we do. Um, nothing else here. If I converted, let's say, like, all these guys except for you. So, like, 40 combat with, would we have enough strength? Maybe. You guys, would we have enough strength for this as well? Mm, maybe. Will we have enough strength for this one, too? Give it a day. New Manhattan explosion. Encryption. Very nice, very nice. Um, it's going to cost us a lot of manpower, though, but that's okay. Actually, it's 10-11, so let's grab some atomic research. You all, Skyfall Republic has fallen. Repeat, it has fallen. But this is why we're just going to go and prepare our guys here. We need to go to war by the 5th of December. Now, hopefully these guys can hold on until then. Hopefully. But there is no, of course, guarantee. The Leopard Compagnie Automobile Belout. The Leopard Compagnie is one of the perils of Aquilian industry, yet their focus on luxury cars at home and their expansion in Saudi Arabia proved to be a disaster due to a social change at home and civil war overseas. By bailing them out, we can save a titan of industry and save it from itself at the same time. Nice. Get a whole one military factory. And you all, do we change? Yes, you did. Now, do we have enough now? Yeah, we still do. Good. Train. We need you guys to be strong, 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 because... Oh, we're going to be out of so much pony power. Holy crud. I want you guys to be at least regulars before you have to fight 1v1. The fault... Oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Mm, that's not good. Alright, let's go in. we got to go in. We can't wait. They're allied with... Ooh. Arch Arcanite. The Reich's Pact. Any more Reich's Pact anywhere? Oh, 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 is it down here? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Oh, that's gone. Well, oh, this might have been a bad idea. This might have been a really, really bad idea. Sure, you guys can come on in if you really want to. Oh, you guys are still going, huh? That's fine. You guys, guys, uh, oh, don't do that. H, there you go. I wonder if we get attacked somewhere. I just want to hold the line for now. We'll see what happens. Ooh, some places. No, we can't. Oh, that sucks. What if we attacked here, though? Would we be able to win, maybe? We might be able to. I should not have called these guys in. That was a bad idea by me. Oh, boy. That's not too bad. We're going to lose a tile here. And oh, boy. Wow, this is a lot of red. And it's quite a bit of green. All right, it says we can go. Let's go ahead, boys and girls and whoever else. All right, losses thus far. 22,000 versus... 60. How did we already do 67,000 damage? Wow. 
The other Griffonian Republic did 57,000. Oh, you know what would be really good? If we let these guys die, and then we do well. And then we take them out ourselves. But, Albert Plumas is a name that has quickly risen in the artistic circles of Aquilia. His absurdist approach towards life, which is widespread in his works, has attracted many griffins weary of constant wars raging across the world. He's recently finished his newest novel, titled L'Etranger, The Outsider, which follows Griffsot and his indifferent lifestyle. The critics praise the main character's disposition towards life, authority, and religion, stating that these are the proper values for the uncertain times. Thus, the book has quickly become an integral part of any Aquilian shelf. Remind me not to look at the sun. Very nice. Like I said earlier, like, you read the event, you get something out of it. And I love that. I love that so much. Uh, sure, guys, you want a non aggression pact? Scott for Republic? Sounds pretty good to us. Uh, we might just let the other people die. Maybe. I don't know. We, sorry, we couldn't help you there. Um, there's people who are busy doing other stuff. Infrastructure? Well, sure, why not? Romal? We might just stop the attacks right now, just hang out. Oh, the, but buys gold? No, I think we're pretty good. Yeah, we're pretty good for right now. We're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. And you know what? We can actually improve our divisions even more with more infantry attack and defense. Yes, please. And then maybe some artillery. Let them attack us. Let them attack us. They might win here and there, but it's not too bad. Reclaim the north. Um, oh, that's a lot of manpower. Wow. So all the damage we've done, 93,000 93, is not too bad. They have up to 151 divisions, though, which is not good. But you guys should be able to deploy here. Uh, rush this if you can. They are pushing us here and there a little bit, but... Cloudberry ooh, has already fallen, of course. Can you guys keep winning, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Grind their guns. Oh! Socialist Republic of Skynavia. The Kingdom of Whitetail. Um, I, honestly, they're probably going to war with way too many people. Uh, so they're there and there. Um... Okay, we can still see this, which is nice. Um, we're just, we're racking up that body count. Body count? Hmm. I like high, do I like high body counts? Let's not get into that. Oh, very nice, though. Very good. All right. Mario. I probably don't say Mario a whole lot, that name in France, but Colbert made a large gamble during his ministry by heavily taxing the arms industry in what he saw as an era of unrest but peace for the kingdom, bringing in much needed funds. It was wise then, but now Aquilia requires guns and cannons. We'll have to trust our civilians' investments to make up for the loss. More stability and three more military factories, sign us up. Exactly what we could use, and maybe a little bit more manpower as well. Wow, we really got cut down on guns. I'm glad we took out all the guns, or took all the guns out, you know, from our enemies. That was actually really good. Okay, stop doing that, guys. Not bad. Not bad. If you guys want to come here, that actually might kill them. A good chunk of them off. Even though we're still training the Navy, which is weird, but whatever. Goodbye. You're dead. Alright, let's go and stop attacking. And you guys can finish up whatever you're doing. That's fine with me, but... Uh, get some planning done. That is important as well. Planning is important to do. It's always good to plan. Always, always good to plan. Very nice. Better radar. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe not super necessary right now, but not bad. Uh, I'll go and grab some artillery upgrades. That would be very nice as well. And since we're here, I do not want to forget that we can still upgrade this. In which we can get airborne armored companies, which means very little to us. And then magical artillery. Oh, we need 125 for that. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's fine. Oopsie. All right. Gives a little more time to plan. And we have another battle cruiser. Very good. Actually, at this point, there you go. The Empire's navy is probably fairly large, so good luck. We haven't even developed any of our naval doctrine yet, but that's okay. It would be a shame if these guys all died up here. It would be a real shame if they all died, and we got all their territory at the end, too. What a shame that would be. We could have killed off a couple of divisions. We killed off a lot of them. Over a quarter million of them. And I do want to get some more manpower first before we get too far into it, so... Nice. 1.9. Um, actually, how is that looking right now? We did core a little bit. Actually, we cored quite a bit. That's actually really nice. We already cored a lot, quite a bit. And we're not mobilizing anymore, which is not very good. So, I think it's best to wait. Happy 10 12, everyone. Let's grab some of that. More construction speed. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Level 4. And get up there, too. There we go. Not bad. Now, it looks like they are running out of equipment, perhaps. Can we... Do we know anything about them? 
tax, tax cuts, very nice. They have maybe a million manpower max. They are about 34,000 guns until they're all gone. Nice. Very nice. At the same time, as much as I want that research slot, I might just save up the PP, actually. I might literally just save up the PP so we can get service bar requirement. Because I would really like to make a push. So this is one of the rare times where I'm actually not even doing a focus while we still can do a focus. And we'll get it pretty darn quickly anyway, so. Alright, service by requirement. And we shall do the Aquilian School of Polytechnique. While Aquilia has long cultivated a tradition of higher learnings, it has long failed in focusing it on practical matters like the famed universities of Yale. One of the protégés of Kultber has since proposed the creation of a school dedicated to forming the best and brightest engineers for the service of the nation at large, for science, country, and glory. Ah, another destroyer. Very good. Alright, so since we're mobilizing, I'm feeling pretty good that we could probably do a general attack again. But we might want to wait. Can you guys actually win there, maybe? Maybe? Yeah. That'd be kinda nice. Nice. I follow Van Hoover. Van Hoover! Can you guys actually do win again, maybe? You might be able to. Oh, this is definitely a grind around here. Oh baby boy. Oh man, oh man. Oh, this is costly. This is very costly. Oh, these guys hold on, are they not? Oh man, this is not good. Alright, so we'll stop the attacks then. That's fine. That's fine. Can't always win. And then get some anti-air as well. That'd be good. You're actually over the river. You just help them out doing that. There you go. Wow, they must have been doing last stand there or something. No, we're good. As much as actually that'd be useful. Alright. Public impact is gone. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Force him to die. Force him to die. We could whip the party, but I don't feel like it. It's only you only get one more deputy, which would be a waste. Yeah, they're doing like last stand or something. They're holy smoky daddies. So we've killed off almost half a million, roughly half a million. We've lost 127,000 some. All right, they lose tall tail. All right. Anything else? Not too much. No. Not bad so far. Obviously, we're, the the assaults for us at the win have slowed quite a bit down, but that's okay. Another research slot is very good, and Project Damocles. Coldbertism is in many ways helped us catch up to, but Coldbert is also the product of his time. Science has marched on, and so has Aquilia. Harnessing the power of the crystals and will still fringe science during his lifetime. Now it is time for us to dare surpass our old masters, for we now have the means of our ambitions. Vers le infini et au delà. I do not speak that language, but I am going to assume it says, I don't know, something to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Alright, so let's stop attacking. We don't want to waste our manpower, our pony power too much, so. If you're winning, that's totally fine. Go and hold for now. They'll come attack us as well, so I'm not really too worried about that. We need more time to recover our soldiers. And let's do that as well. And if we need to, well, we can always raise our conscription levels as well. I go do that too. We've lost 150,000. We've killed off 470,000, though. It goes Griffin Stone, which is a little worrying, but that's okay. Romao. Come up here. What are we missing? Guns? Yep, loads of guns we need. Which is fine. There we go. You can make even more guns. Upgrade what you have here, and upgrade what you have here as well. They will eventually attack us as well, but we'll have to wait. Come on, guys, come attack us. I know they're making even more divisions, and if. Oh! I ask, and we shall receive. Quite a uh, big old attack, I'd say. They've got to be doing last stand, or no, force attack. In some areas, they definitely have to be. Nice. Alright, look at that. That's so weak. Then again, they are tanks. So what do you expect? White Tail's gone. Alright, so be it. Push them back out, if you may. Not too bad. And what are we on currently? 6.7%? Oh, we got, we got a while until we, get, we hit our bottom, so that's not too bad. Better empty air, just in case. It is 10, 12, like I did say. Let's grab some of this. More defense and breakthrough, thank you. Alright, you guys, you might actually be able to go zing, 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 but not really. You might zing up there, though. Run it out, zing it out. Encircle and destroy, if you can. Sure, guys. Sure. There you go. Oh, they attacked us, so we wouldn't be able to get over there. How dirty you play. Not good. 
project Damocles. Obviously, I'm not really focusing on this stuff because we're focusing on the, our, the military stuff. But the Queen of the Battlefield. Ooh. Mm, Battlefield support. Probably do that one. Whether it is to build bridges across rivers, care for wounded soldiers, provide reconnaissance, or ensure supplies are getting where they need or they should. We need to ensure that our soldiers are trained for the task. That's actually a pretty smart idea. And now they've been cut off. You're going to die now. At least I hope so. Come on. I guess you're not linked up there, huh? There you go. Construction 4 is nice. Let's grab some of that too. More caps, thank you. Caps. Construction. Oh, no, no. You guys got a force defense. I don't care if you all die there. These guys have to die first. No if and or about it. The most important thing is for this nation state to die. These guys all die here. We already, we didn't lose a division yet, but it looks like we might just lose it. Nope, you are going to die, whether you like it or not here. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? You go right back in there. No, 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 no. None of that BS here. No, 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 no. I will force attack the entire thing if I have to. Everyone else force attack. Kill every single last one of them off. You will not say we cannot beat these guys up. No, 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 no. You will force the attack. They're going to die, 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 die now. Regimental combat teams are good, and we'll grab that one too. Nice. Alright, so we have more than enough army XP now for this. So, what we should do? Magical artillery. I wonder how that works. Magical artillery, huh? Let's see. Oh! So that requires actually making magical artillery. That is interesting. I'm kind of interested in using that. I might as well try to use it, right? We do need a lot more guns, though. Wow. Alright, since we're only building roads, which is nice and all, but we need way more of this stuff. Nice. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. Alright, so we can have political power, too. Uh, we're probably going to go to war colony, but we're actually doing okay. Let's get some more attack and defense for artillery. Every single one of them. They attacked us until they all died, so. Hopefully we need investments. If you like to read about that, please go right ahead. This, they gave us this earlier, so we'll use it to a great effect. Alright, so they still have a, quite a few more guns. They're running out of manpower like us, which is good, but obviously they still have way too much. Oh, uh, get some more heavy ships, shall we? We shall. Buy gold. Ah, uh, we're kind of okay, guys. Yeah, we don't really need that for now, so. I gotta keep doing this one as well. Just keep an eye on that stuff for now. And remember, we don't have to take all the territory up here. It's just that they took a lot of territory from those guys as well, so. It is what it is. Bashar's fallen. Good. Man, they make way too much equipment. Good. Keep pushing them back. Halfway through. They've almost taken a million casualties, which actually means really basically nothing, but still. We haven't created an agency yet. We need one. La Chouette? Yes. I'm kind of surprised we haven't created one yet, which is kind of weird. Okay. Alright, so our guys are starting to get a little bit tired. We're not being as successful as we used to be. Their tanks are looking pretty bad themselves, which is nice to see, but still. Field support battalions, because I want to get assault section proliferation. To ensure that every unit will be able to push the advantage, no matter the situation, we will establish assault sections across the army down to company level. No matter the formation, there will always be soldiers with equipment and elan to charge into the fray and defy the odds. Nice. Look at those guys, they're looking god-awful, which I like to see. Come on, get to Griffenheim! Still 57% of the way there. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, uh, let's stop the attacks then. We're not doing as well as we possibly could, so. And you guys hold as well, because they're going to start attacking us again some more and more and more and more. Which is not the bueno. Oh, uh, you guys come over here and try to do an encirclement, maybe. Have you got enough strength in you? Alright, so actually, we need to get more manpower as well. Do we already get... We're still mobilizing. We're still mobilizing, which is good, but... We need more manpower. Oh, my goodness. No wonder you guys weren't doing that well. You're like six combat with. Holy crud. I will make 40 combo with light tank divisions, which gives them eh, some good attack and defense. So, And we have more than enough army speed to do this, so we might as well, right? Oh, come on. And uh, so artillery, engineers, armored recon. 
mage companies, but that, that hurts your armor just a little bit. It gives you more breakthrough, though, and more soft attack, so I kind of like that. And uh, I kind of want to use this one. Do we have any of this yet, stuff yet? We kind of do, actually, so not bad. Um, I don't really want you to attack there, but you're going to win, maybe. Win well, so that'd be good. And then they'll attack us again. We've lost, what, a quarter million? 300,000 versus almost a million, so that's not too bad. Come on, guys, where are you at? Keep moving, keep moving. I know the tanks aren't looking very good, but that's okay. Good. And we'll use these guys' help um, with their digging up their enemies' entrenchments. Ah, oh, good. Even more break defense and breakthrough. Good, good, good. Let's grab some of those, too. More soft attack. Thank you. Move on in. Just go in here. Help them out. Very good, very good. And... Nice. We want some more tactical bombers as well. Oh, we need some more resources too. Come on, guys. You got it. You got it. Don't worry about it. Good, good. Get in there. Oh, oh. They're trying to stop us. They're trying to stop us. No, you don't. Three northern communes that are nice. It's only a single division we're going to encircle, but it's going to be worth it. I swear it is. I've, I've heard that if you play this case, they have so many events. They've got so many events, I've heard. Alright, one more division is gone. Not great, not bad, but better. Hmm. This would be really good to attack as well. So, where are you all at? Ooh, get you guys up here first, maybe? Yeah, Scandinavia burns, so that's not good. Go here first, just because I want to push him out against the river. Good, good, good. And that'll be a really nice fortification area. Oh, they're attacking us as well. Well, that's fine. Let them burn their own manpower. Burn, burn it, burn it, burn it. Burn them to the ground. Oh, that's nice. We get more attack. Oh, Patrice is a smoocher. He's a seducer. A web of lies. Oh, I like that. Let's go and throw them over here as well, around Griffenheim. Oh, they, you're going to pay dearly for this. I swear to God, man. I swear, you're going to pay, 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 pay. You're going to pay the piper, son. You want to do this crap to us? No, no, no. All right, hopefully this is the last time we need to do this, but we'll see what happens. Uh, do that and do that, because you can. All right, my friends. Uh, ooh, experience soldiers' losses goes down by 10%. We could use that. Le corps du service médical. Our soldiers' lives are not to be thrown around casually. Every Aquilian has the potential to be a hero and a champion, and we will not let them die for nothing, no matter how or where, which is very, very good. All right, looking pretty green overall, even on defense, except for maybe right there, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Oh, Griffonian Empire took him out, huh? Extraction, let's grab some extraction, that'd be good as well. Anything here? Yes. I One thing I might say is that when you see coalition det detractions, you might, I don't know the devs are watching, they might be, but if they are, like, maybe keep that as, like, in a super important event, so you have, like, a little notification up here, so you know what's going to happen, because, you know, no one wants to lose supporters, so. Maybe I might add that as a recommendation, maybe. All right, not bad. 40 combo width is definitely a good choice that we did make. So, very, very good choice. All right, we've cut off 1.2 million for exchange for 300,000. They did, they've done very, very well. No wonder we could actually push here because they were busy with other locations. But that's okay with us. Griffenheim is almost a frontline city. You might want to help out, guys. You might want to help out. Kill the enemy tanks. Atomic research is very, very nice. It is 10, 12, so radar. Wow. Good. Griffenheim is a frontline city, but we're not going to be able to take it in the first assault. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you guys are doing a good job over here, hopefully, as well. It'd be better if we actually made encirclements, but brute forcing it right now against the Griffonian Empire might do okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. A nice bit done. Should one not? Help them out up here, too. Oh, man. We're not, we're not winning here now. Oh, boy. Break over there and then get over there and break, cut these guys off. Go, go, go. Or not. Or not. Okay, then. Alright. We could probably mobilize a little bit more, but what about this? Army offense. Recovery rate. Draining time. Defense. Good. More defense. Defense is always good to get. So, Man, you really don't want to lose your capital, huh? What a shame, because I want it. 
push you back over the river, son. All right, you want to do that tank, boys? You die then. Make them lose it. Make them lose it. God dang it, guys. Both of you go in there. Go. I want the capital. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. Oh, they really don't want to lose the capital. Well, we got it, but they're going to take it back real quick. Wow, they're really just killing their own guys off, which is nice. Uh, mass infantry mechanization? Ooh, that's not a bad grab either. So, we'll do this one. Considering the speed of which motorized infantry can strike, there's no reason to not presume that it will become standard in the future. Or at least as widespread as possible. It will be up to us to make sure that we have the best possible vehicles for it. Very good. Alright, make sure we get some more divisions here. Make some more. Make sure our divisions are entrenched. Get enough planning for our guys. So that's all super important stuff. We still own the capital, which is nice, actually. Help them out. Very good. We've killed off one and a half million of them. Not enough, obviously. All right, help them out. They are literally going to die here for this, huh? I'm fine with that, man. If they want to die, that's their, that's their choice. You want you want, you want to do this, guys? You, you really want to do this, too? All right. Not bad. Jules Hamlin. Katerinburg. Very nice, very nice. Just in case, we'll come up there, too. Actually, do they have this cord? They don't. Oh. Oh, I'm glad that's not cord. That gives us a slight advantage. Perhaps. Maybe. Messy. Come over here and just cut them off here if you possibly can. That would be really nice. More military factories? Very good. Oh, we need more resources. Oh, so badly. Including steel. Um, so, yeah. Ooh. Not bad. We definitely need to go to limit exports or something like that. Alright, so they're attacking like crazy. Which means it's a perfect time to counterattack. I, do, I still remember we have those eight divisions down there too, but that's yeah, totally okay for now. Yeah, they're done. I think this is this is the last push that we really need to hear. At least I hope so. Because they're looking really, really bad. Really bad. They're out of manpower! Look at that! Yep, they're done. They're done. We just keep attacking. They got guns, but no manpower. So, they're screwed. Inf infantry equipment. Very good. Uh, so, G42s? Why not? Well, we've done it. And we made sure we got a lot of equipment as well, too. Um, you probably still is there. Yeah, whatever. My main goal is to push until they, like, couldn't go anywhere else, but okay. Cut them off here or there. It doesn't really matter which one. Nope, alright. Well, at least you got them here. It is five divisions, which is pretty nice, but still. They're out of manpower. Any damage you do, they cannot replace. Literally. They might have enough guns in reserve, but they literally have no guys left. Look, look at that. Nice. It's only four divisions, but hey, I'll take it. Are they doing the last stand? They might be doing it. Hmm. Mass infantry mechanization. And I'm so focused on that stuff. You know, for the war instead of doing this stuff. So, the queen of the battlefield, Le Corps Logistique Mobile. Getting supplies to the front is not a side job, but a core duty of our armed forces, and we should approach it with the same elan as we do everything else. Whether in storm or snow, in mountains or deserts, Le Corps Logistique Mobile will be there. Very nice. Improved radar is very good. Let's, uh, let's grab that one. It's not that much ahead of time. Nice, kill them all off. Over there. Katherineburg, second capital, will be ours. 1v1, what's who will win? Well, now it's 2v1. And we will have it. They are done, my friends. Almost roughly 2 million versus our half million. My friends, not too bad. And we even got even more territory, too. Look at that, not too bad. Not too shabby. I think we got a little bit more than what we really bargained for, though. Alright, everyone, sorry about that. But, let's see, now we can proclaim the Empire's defeat. And get a new political focus branch will be loaded. And Hetzlin will be released as a puppet. Form a united North Griffonian state. Griffonian Republic. Uh, as a core, original core state of Griffonian Empire Remo, Yale, Bronze Hill, Anger for Catherine, Vidino. I guess we might as well do these. I don't think there's a problem if we do that, right? It's not like we can core all these states. And that costs a lot of, you know, political power and stuff like that. So, it's disappointing we didn't get really any naval action, which kind of sucks. But that's alright. Um, I guess we could really focus on these guys more then, because... We'll probably have to end up beating them up, probably, at some point. So, let's spread and share the wealth. Do this. Go over here. Take that off, and then you go here. Nice. 
another field marshal just in case wing body would like to attack us i do not know if they want to attack us i don't know if anyone else wants to attack us but it's just best to be ready just in case nice cool and train if you need to as well as you guys cool not too bad i'd say we did a pretty darn good job i'm glad i made emergency 40 combat with divisions that's probably what saved us but okay well um i guess reform united north griffonian state why not now look at that lag north griffonian republic technically they're with us and they have adrian schumann okay all right let's see proclaim the empire's defeat let's see what happens we have a new puppet somewhere around here-ish, probably? Over here-ish? Oh, oh, the game. Oh. Okay. That's not bad. And who are they led by? Look at that flag. I like that. Elsa Silberbauer. Alright, so no national focus set. It looks like maybe... Is this a gen... Is this a generic focus tree? I don't think I've ever seen the generic focus tree before for Equestrian War. Maybe I have, but it's been a long time. Holy crud. Alright, cool. Cecilia did a very good job. We need a little bit more support here as well, so we can keep going down our focus tree. Uh, we must keep doing this stuff as well. And we'll grab Marianne Bouliat Willamez. Not bad. Alright, we got a lot of political power. Excavation 4 is very nice. Let's grab some more excavation because we can. And dear Madame President. Oh, oh. Griffonian Republic. Wait. Wait, what? Who? Griffonian Republic is just a fun against Hetzeland. No? Griffonian Republic. Um. Okay. I'm not sure where they're at, but you know what? Let's read this first. It was very hard for me to write this letter, but as I kept wanting to write horrible things to you, my governess told me to put down the letter and go back to writing it when I no longer was angry, and this is why it's taken me so long for me to write all this. There is still much that I do not understand, but I know that you took my birthright from me. I was born to be emperor like my father was, but I now understand. Now, but now I will be somebody else. I don't know how to be somebody else, and I'm scared of what I will become. I was always thought that as emperor, I would be the most responsible of all grits in the empire, and that I would form the empire through my actions and my personality. That was what made the empire what it was. Under Grover the first and second, it was strong and conquered most of Griffonia to show the empire alone could bring in peace and unity. Under Grover the third and fourth, it was working to maintain that promise. Now you are going to choose leaders every few years. How can Griffonia become anything but a confused mess? Maybe there's no point in me writing this, but I want to ask you to not step down when your time ends. You are strong and you created peace through that strength. Whatever you've done to me, at least you're the kind of grip that can make sure that peace sticks. Please do not st step down, because if you do, there will be chaos in the end. I won't be an emperor, but I can make this request off you for the sake of every grip. Sincerely, Grover von Greifenstein. Cecilia, or Cecilia smiled as she read the letter. Grover was a remarkably well-spoken considering his age. While well, the philosophical differences that, in the end, had caused the revolution were clear as day, it was impossible to miss the sincerity in his words, no matter what he thought of her. The boy was asking her to become a dictator to ensure stability, all for the sake of those who would suffer if she didn't. Taking out a pen and paper to write her reply, she wondered if he would be amendable to future correspondence. Dear Grover von Greifenstein. I'm gonna figure out where the guy is. So, okay, so, that's cool. The real conference. Oh! The Republican Pact reaffirmed. Okay. Uh, the Entente Triumphant. The Quillian Republican Split. Oh, God, there's even more stuff after this. Whoa, look at that. We need more uh, guys down there, too, but I guess the real conference. Victory. The Empire has been defeated, and the Hatzlan has been liberated into a new shining Republic, but while we have defeated our enemy, the question still remains of our relationship with our fellow Republic. We must meet in Rilla with the other Republican leaders to decide how to move forward. Which, I don't know they all they do exist, but still. Oh, they're over here. What? Was I supposed to take them out? The, uh, I thought I took everything from them. Um, hmm. I guess you guys aren't useless after all. Do that and do that as well. Because we'll need all the space around here to do this. So, I guess in the meantime, how many divisions do they have? Uh, that's a few. That's definitely a few. So maybe we'll pull some of you guys off, actually, then. Alright, you guys come from Fazera to Winterhold, hopefully, and do well. Maybe we should get some Marines as well, then. At least I want to invade up there first as a united front. 
Because hopefully we can do well. We cut that off and they won't be able to get supplies in here either. So that'll be very good. The Kingdom of Vedina seeks to join the Entente. In the face of increasing threats to liberty and democratic values, the Vedinian look to us as the defenders of freedom. They now wish to be admitted into our alliance, both to enjoy protection and to stand with us against the forces that would threaten harmony. Carthinian pack is looking mighty thick. And these guys are where? Oh, they're over here. Better off without them? Sure, why not? There you go, guys. That is fine with us. And that actually gives literally a direct access into there. Which is good. And, let's see. We have 274. Which one is the most important group? Let's see. PDNA, 0.65. Uh, so, PDNA for next. Because we need more support. Supremacy? Oh, I guess we can't do that one yet. Okay, do that one first then. I really hate hurting our own support, but the Entente Triumphant. It was a sunny day in Griffenheim, and the flag of the young republic waved gently in the breeze from its perch atop the Reichstag, a magnificent dome building that had once been a royal residence on the ground below. Frenetic activity had erupted as Griffins gathered right outside, and the newly renamed Place de la République. A couple of large speakers hooked up to a public announcement system uh, had been erected, ready to receive input from the gathering gathering within, and as the minutes passed, the crowd pressed closer to them, eager and impatient. And so the Reichstag, the representatives of the people of the Hetzland, were in this special session. The Quillians, the guarantors of the new liberty, had requested this meeting to inform them of an important political development, but what exactly this could be was subject to much speculation. The Hatslanders whispered to each other and gazed at the Aquitilians at the far end, by the speaker's podium. There was a tall and reedy fellow whose jacket was a little too short next to him. It was a grove of griffin, with a broad beak the buttons of his waistcoat straining against his girth. Oh, girthy. Nearby was a sole female, her left arm steadily concealing the patch on her dress. One among them stood out from all the rest by his noble demeanor, his distinct cold... Cobalt blue feathers, his perfectly tailored suit. The Hatslanders knew him as Vinge Foy, the leader of the delegation. Some even knew that he had once been a baron. He stepped forward to the podium and, and reaching into his coat pocket, produced the notes of a speech which sta stated thus, among other things. My dearest friends, today we make a grand stand against monarchy and dictatorship. Today, Quilia stands with her fellow Democrats and declares that the Hatsland will remain free and independent forevermore. With applause within the Reichstag was deafening, and the hearty cheers from the crowd outside echoed in the halls. Hetzlin, the land of emperors, it was wondrous to behold it now, bastion of democracy in the very heart of Griffin civilization. The dreams of an entire people at last made a reality towards a brighter future. Nice, and we we'll go with Anton Triumphant. The Romal Agreement, ooh. Migration Treaty, ooh. The Hetzlin to show Reconstruction Authority, I kind of like that one too. A tragedy in two parts. Griffonian Republic. Oh, we're going to war them anyways, so... Um, okay. Uh, the Griffonian Republic was once the shining torch of liberty and freedom on Griffonia. The flames of revolution, but now they are a threat to Aquiles' own freedom and prosperity through their steadfast goal of pan-Griffonianism. Though it may pain us to do so, we must defeat the Republic to truly bring safety to an independent Aquilia. I'm just looking over here to see if we have enough deputies. We do not, so I'm going to wait for this, because they're going to go to war with this anyway, so... Let's do this one. Hetzlandish Reconstruction Authority. While the war is over, the Hetzland is still devastated by the fight. The new Hetzland Republic has had trouble repairing all the damage, so the new Hetzlandish Reconstruction Authority will be formed to aid in the reconstruction of that region. Oh, and there you go. A tragedy in two parts. Beautiful. Guardians of Liberty. That's not bad. Um, we need all the followings. We can't do this one, which sucks. If you want to read about this one, please go right ahead. And we can't do this one either, because we need both of these. So if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. And that's okay. We have a lot of pee, pee Whip the party? Oh, I love whipping the party. Nice. Oh, uh, you know what? Since we're here, just do all these. Because we can. Alright, not bad. We didn't even go to war economy that time, too. Wow. Um, mobilization speed. We got more divisions, which is nice. Economy. Uh, good that one. Bon etat. Very nice. There you go. For now, you guys can all just head into here. Uh, actually, no, you're done. Or is it where it's at? There we go. That's nice. All but you become very special. Commander training is nice. There you go. Keep working on that stuff because that'll be very bueno. More military factors would be very good as well. Oh man, we're missing a lot of military factors. Holy snapperonies. A request from Flowina. Uh, let's see. A diplomat has arrived from the small city state of Florina, whose relations with us has become increasingly warm in recent times. He formally requested that the regent, Cecilia Gadro, would grant them the status of an autonomous urban region within Aquilia itself. Before the invasion of Emperor Grover I, Florina was their northeastern bastion responsible for guarding our border and remained part of the kingdom until Grover III granted it the status of Imperial Free City in 871. Now they wish to return back to the good old days and ask for protection. Yeah! Yeah! We'll take them! You were surrounded by us anyway, so... Oh, they send financial aid. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. 
Yeah, so truly good ally. Yes. Very nice. Very good. It's good to have allies. 257. Beautiful. So now we can do another one of these things. Limited uh, price regulations. The idea of bringing in price regulations to feed the urban poor of Aquilia has been brought up many times since the rise to power. While many see as too much government intervention in economics, some are starting to come around to the idea of the idea's benefits. From now on, the government will purchase grain at market price and distribute it to the poor at a lower rate, or in exchange for labor projects. More political power, stability, output, and political power. Not bad. Were we supposed to win like that? Like, that quickly? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. It is 10.13 though, my friends. Oh, very good. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time. 10, 14, not quite there. Ah, we can do that one. Nice. Ah, very good. Now we're going to need more deputies. Hmm. Since we're here, we'll do that anyways. Anything here? Chief of the Air Force. Interrogation techniques. Very nice. Ooh, political power gain. Less army XP gain, but you still... Or air XP gain. You still get 10% more political... You know what? As much as I want to do this one, we still get air XP gain. Well, we lose air XP gain, but we get more political power, which doesn't really mean too much, but we get air superiority. I wish I could say words correctly. So to this one, I guess we might as well go ahead and do the Romao Agreement. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, why not? Even though we may not believe in the idea of a united Griffonia, borders should not be something that stops Griffins from immigrating from country to country. The Romao Agreement will allow the citizens of both us and all of our allies to travel freely and to migrate to any country they choose to easily. Nice. Actually, we're making the magical... Oh, that's good. Nice. Keep doing that. Nice. <clears throat> Very nice. We do have motorized still. Quite oh my goodness. Why are we using that type of stuff? Alright. Oh my god, 40 combo with because we can. I have a problem with 40 combo with. I like him too much. Nice. Real thicky divisions. Real thickness. The best type of thickness. I'm glad we have army speed. Do we get any more major wars here? That would be kind of cool if we did. Ah, eh, going through that on there. Engineers are just so crucial. I love them, love them, love them. Support artillery is nice to have as well. Artillery and support and magical artillery. That should give us a crap ton of, of soft attack. Oh my goodness, it's so huge. Ah, see, a G42 is nice. I'm going to grab some of that as well and then make some better guns. Alright, so we definitely don't have enough for this stuff yet. So, the Romal Agreement. So now, let's get whipping. Nice. We have 207 deputies, not too bad, so we need like 275, so which is going to be kind of difficult to get, but it shouldn't be that bad. Anything else down here? Not really too much. Region-wide integration, we could spend the PP for that, but we're going to wait. Uh, work with the path, because I want to get more support from everyone here. We just got to keep working on it, so. Okay, Barad Majocracy has capitulated. That's unfortunate. Oh, good, more planes, very nice. 1013, we could get some carriers. Actually, what about naval stuff? We haven't done any naval stuff yet. I do want some... Uh, more heavy ships, perhaps, so. Uh, shipping, 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 not too bad. Two capital ships, nice. I might make you into three groups here, just in case. So, when are they going to go to war with us? We'd love to go to war with them. Oh, they got quite a while until then, that's fine. Work with them so we get some more support. And these guys are trying to kill someone else off or something? Oh, wow, they've really expanded quite a bit. Wowzers and bowsers. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, Griffonian Free Trade Zone. Our allies have built many ties between each other and us economically, but tariffs and taxes on foreign goods still stymie trade between them and us. By creating a free trade zone and lifting these restrictions, goods can flow more freely and improve the economy of all involved. Very nice. And we should soon have enough support to get to 250. Actually, what's the next level do we need for this one? Limit the executive... Oh, 275! Oh, that is a lot! Oh, man, that is quite a bit. Oh, boy. Poach your deputies? Now oh, we gotta wait for more support, then. All or nothing armor scheme. Very nice. Let's grab some of that, too. And five research slot is muy bueno. Um, what do we want here? Fleet and being? We'll probably go fleet and being around battleships. That's what we're mostly using, I believe, for right now. I could be wrong, but you never know. Yeah, I can do that once. Why not? Cool. We're already halfway through the focus. Jesus, that's fa so fast. And if that is the case, the Hasslandish uh, Landwehr? Uh, Air Force, look at the Air Force. A large and modern Air Force can be just as key to winning away as tanks or ships. The Hasslandish has none to speak of at the moment, leaving them vulnerable to bombing runs if the future conflict breaks out. To fix this, we will help the Hasslandish create their own new fleet of planes to defend themselves, which would be probably a pretty good thing for them to have. And zero days left, very nice. 
Come back over here. Thank you. Artillery. And better anti-air. Support opens. And then get some infantry anti-tank. Nice. Still looking good at military factories. We're still building a whole bunch, which is something that we really, really could use. Whip the party, because we like... Oh, let's wait to whip them. Work with them, because that might lower our support, but we still get more support here. We still get 15 more deputies. Overall, that should be a little bit better, but we'll see. We could use some more here and some more here, too, so... That'll be nice. And Guardians of Liberty. With the fall of the Republic, Aquilia now stands as the true Guardians of Liberty on Griffonia. We are now the new bastion of harmony and republicanism, and our country stands united behind the fact that in the defense of liberty. Very good. I can do that too, why not? Work with these guys, 260. Not bad. War penalty, stability modifier, plus 15%. Not bad, not bad. Anything else here? Oh, I did want to go to limited exports, but apparently we're not at war, so we can't do that. Yep. Decisive battle, we'll probably go with that one. Convoy rating is not bad as well. There we go. Cool. PDNA. Uh, slowly, but getting more support now, because of our national, because of her, we get more daily harmony support. So even though we're at 42% right now, that's ultimately what we really need to do. So that'd be fine with us. But guys, we're good. And actually, since we're at war, that's not too bad, actually. 266. 273. So then we can poach deputies for from stability. Forward observers. Let's grab some of that, too. Oh, look at that. We're fighting their, their navy. Oh, they're going to do a good job and kill them all off. Psychological warfare. Very nice. Oh, do we not get to see... Oh, we don't get to see results? Is that a bug? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I love seeing the results of the naval battles. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it so much. I want to see how well our guys are doing. That's one of my favorite things. Do you actually have any... Oh, because you are a sea wolf, huh? Sub-attack. Wait, are you really the most... Yeah, I guess you're the only person we have, so... Silent Hunter. What goes with that one? Torpedo cooldown? Just... Just spam out those torpedoes if you can. Ah, heavy ship hulls. Nice. Because of that, let's grab some cannons next. I don't want to make it without having enough cannons. Cool. And we'll go with Smoocher Alexander Orban. Oh, can we not... Oh, there we go. We can put people there, I guess. Here, you can send two people there. Sink all the convoys first. How many have we killed off? Wow! Holy crap! 75,000! God dang, son! That's a slaughter! I love it! Whip the party. 15 more supporters. Uh, sure, why not? We can do that for now. Yeah, I'll let the Navy do what it's doing for now. I mean... Uh, we're not getting that much more naval XP. But then again, they might have run out of convoys. Ooh, oh! They might have run out of ships too. Guardians of Liberty. Hesslandische Landwehr. The old Imperial Reich's army was one of the most modern and prestigious military forces on Gryphonium. The current Hesslandische Landwehr, not so much. Though it may never reach the size it once was it at, we can at least help the fledgling Republic recreate a respectable army. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, just blow them up. Oh, yes. Daddy, yes. Oh, we've killed off 87,000. Oh, we've killed off a couple of divisions, too. Do they have any more manpower? They have a little bit. Two to ten divisions, led by Walter Emmerich. Oh, if you want to about him, please go right ahead. The Griffonian Republic. I didn't imagine we would end up fighting them, but okay. Let's see what we can do. Suicide pills? We love suicide pills. Tasty. Alright, can we land? Work with them? Um, you might as well. You literally might as well. Okay, then. Alright, not bad. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I know this video is a little bit longer than normal, but it's just because I have extra little time today so I can spend extra time with this, because this is actually, this is a lot of fun. There's so much here. There's just so much here. The devs have done a great job with the mod. Like, I'm not sure what else to say. They, they, they do a tremendous job with the mod. This is probably one of the most, if not the most, uh, in-depth mods for Hoi 4. Alright, very good. Um, winter holds, very good. Eh, just in case. We should do fine there. We even took over the radar station, so. Uh, anything else? War propaganda? We're kind of good. Actually, financial ed, thank you very much once again. We appreciate it. War economy would be nice, but 
Oh, we can't go down here. Oh, it breaks my heart. It really does. War economy then. Oh, if we just, we just, if we have to. If we have to. Um, we could do that as well. This is for the future. I'm going to say that this is for the future. Oh, you guys are suffering from this. Attrition, huh? Well, it shouldn't be too bad. They don't have that many divisions left. So, that'll be okay. Blueprint ceiling, nice. Passive defense is very good as well. All right, we should go any second now. Oh, we already got... Great. Oh. That's land of land valve. And... Actually, should we do this one next? Limit the presidential executive. One of the most hotly debated parts of the Quillian Constitution is a function of the executive office. Our political stance has always been limited, or been to limit the executive and devolve more power into the Assemblée Nationale and have them be the primary driving force behind our democratic system. Our president is not to become a dictator, and these restrictions are to make sure of that. Good. We're going to alienate a lot of people, but that's A-OK. -okay. Goodbye, Griffonian Republic. Nice. All right, we do, I, I, I don't know about you guys. I think we've done very, very well here. Incredibly well. So, thank God I, I made these guys 40 combo with it. Because that was... If I didn't do that, we would probably still be at war with the Griffonian Empire. I'll be honest. Because that would not have been good. <laughs> that would not have been good for us. Great. Maybe we can release him as a puppet. That'd be probably pretty good to do. Um, we've got a lot of tactical bombers. Early tanks. Ooh, we need to improve those guys as well. Fighters, yeah, put, put them on, put on a lot of fighters, that'd be good to do. Cool. Alright, so can we improve this ship by quite a bit? That'd be kind of nice. We got really good anti-air, we got level 2 batteries, which is okay. Actually, you know what, let's go back to level 1. Maybe we'll get some better batteries first before we actually do that. Level 1, that's not good. Level 3 is okay. Level 1, we're going to keep for now. Uh, we're doing well with this stuff anyways, so I'm not really too worried about it. Level 1 catapult, it's not good enough. Level 3 anti-air is where it's at. Loads of anti-air. Just so much anti-air. So this is not ready yet to be made. Just not ready yet. Not yet. After this one. Secondary batteries. That'll be coming by very quickly. So I'm not too worried about that. Coalition defectors. Poche deputies. Um, why not? Boy, limit the power of the executive. Nice. Like I said. <laughs> really quick. 44 days. Not bad either. Eight more days left for this one. Um, that's pretty good already. Anything else here? Not that I really can remember. So I'll get those two done and we'll be good for that. We can keep doing the land doctrine, or er, naval doctrine. It is 1013. Let's keep going down this way then. Since we have all the air XP that we need. Mechanized, very nice. 1015. Marines. Skill board companies. Mechanized equipment. We might use those actually as well. Maybe. We'll see. We'll definitely see. They do cost quite a bit in resources and production, so. Alright, not bad. Jedani cruisers, thank you very much. Ser good, ser good. I guess keep building up roads, I mean, we might as well, right? Limited power of the executive, nice. Not bad. Oh, oh, and we can go ahead and on our own because, well, the Griffonian Republic is dead. Long ago, the failed revolutionary Alexander Kamaretsky failed to bring freedom to the Hetzler. He retreated north and became a monarch in all but name, abandoning the principles he once fought for. While we may appreciate his effort, he lost the revolutionary mandate. It now falls to us, the second great revolution, to instead take up this torch and bash some imperial skulls with it. Which is not bad. Actually, we probably could have used that, but it is what it is. It is what it is, my friends. So you guys actually got that stuff done. I doubt we'll go to war with those guys, but you never know. Whip the party. Yeah, that's probably good to do. Whip, 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 whip. Oh, oh yeah, here's all the stuff. You want to read about that again. That's fine. You know, it is what it is. Um, there you go. Build, up, build them up as well. We don't mind helping out those guys too. More civvies. It doesn't help us like in like TNO or anything, but that's okay. Actually, how many deputies do we need for the last one here? Nothing. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we got that one done. We got the cannons done. Oh, no, I'll get this one done first. That's fine. Five days left for this one. Very good. And maybe we'll grab some uh, basic cruiser armor scheme. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty nice. Curtail. Work with them. Work with them. No, we're actually... Actually, we kind of already have everything done there, so... Ouvra la porte. This shall be the call of the revolution. De bois les cetonias de Aquile. Q les sang des terrains imperial abreuve no silent. Also hear it and either rally to the call or cower in fear. 
Wait, we get a war goal against Aquilian Republic? What? Aren't we the Aquilian Republic? I'm pretty sure we're the Aquilian Republic. Is there a false Aquilian Republic? There might be. And then we have to take them out, but that'd be kind of cool. Actually, engineering companies are very cool. Let's grab even some better engineering companies. Since we're here. Duplicate, and then duplicate that too. You know what? Train. I usually don't train these guys, but that's okay. And you know what? Um, Bombers. God, we got such crappy bombers here. There you go. Nice. Happy 1014, everyone. Basic Kumar armor scheme. Let's grab some more of that. Very, very good. And then we'll be done with this in 60 days. 45 days, really, but that's fine. I mean, we're... Even in... This is, what, medium, mid-stage of the game? Late game? That's still going by pretty darn quickly, Switch. I love, 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 love. Loan from... Oh, that sucks. Uh, cruisers, we'll get the better cruisers first before we do that. And let's come back here and do this. Heavy battery threes. Very good. Secondary batteries. No, go back, go back, go back. Even more attack for the same cost. Nice. That's good. We just need to change this one. Can we change this one actually as well? No, that sucks. That's okay. All right. Oh, it did do that. Okay. Sometimes it does work. Sometimes it doesn't. Huh. That's odd. Cruiser rolls. And now we can do it. Very good. I love these dual purpose guns. Cool. So you are thankfully done. I clicked on the wrong button. There you go. We can actually use some more dockyards too, so let's make some dockyards, shall we? Alright, um, I guess we could work with other groups. I mean, our support will hopefully keep going up, but we'll see what happens. A transfer winter hold to the North Griffonia? Um, yeah, if you guys want it, that's fine. That way we don't have to deal with the resistance. We get less, you know, materials to use, but that's okay. I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nice. Cool. And that's all done, too. We're going to need better cannons, too. Nice. After this one, we don't have enough army or air XP for that, so... It's 1014. Someone falls ill. That's unfortunate. Fighter baiting. We like the baiters. Baiters and gators. Industry. Uh, Griffin Techs. Special Forces. Air Base Construction Speed. Let's get some more output, shall we? 38. That's that's so fast. Over at Le Porte. So, I think we might end the episode here. I'm, oh, or maybe... Yeah, there's stuff, stuff over there. We might end the episode here. And then the next episode probably will be the last. The Sister Republic. Fully make the Hetzland Republic a fully independent nation. Is that something we want to do? The final farewell. Oh no. Deep in the social state. Will alienate people. Aquila on the world stage. Oh no. Oh boy. Harmonic internationalism. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. Whoa. Abolish price regulations. Embrace social capitalism. Um, uh, we'll save this. I might just do a few of these off screen. Just because we get through some of these. So, uh, how about we read through a few of these? The Fiat, uh, no, we'll wait that one. Uh, third branch of the military. Let's do the ones that we don't really need stuff like the Queen of the Battlefield. The roar of the can has been the herald that announced the start of the combat over for over a century. And age has only sharpened her fangs. We'll make sure to keep them as sharp, if not sharper, and she will keep her throne for many years to come. And we'll read a couple more just so that doesn't require too much stuff. Like the Chevalier's eras come to an end. And although they stride across the battlefield still, they are now accompanied by other soldiers as well. Soldiers who will share their role as the first to fight and the greatest of fighters Aquilia has. War might change, but the need for heroes doesn't. The... Dassault 76mm. Tanks are frightening weapons, but artillery is even more terrifying. A specialized barrel and shell can make light work of most tanks, and all for a very reasonable price as well. And we'll do Le Corps Logistique Mobile, which I thought I already did. Yeah, I think we already read that one. Wait, didn't we do that one? Hmm, maybe not. Infantry support tank development. Early tank models were lightly armored and armed, and though they served well, the way that warfare is developing means we'll have to increase both of these things. Tip of the lance. Standing is the apex of tank design in many ways. These behemoths may be large, expensive, and slow, but they can weigh through fire like nothing, and their guns will, can destroy all but the most heavily armored fortifications. With these at the f front, our forces will surely be unstoppable, as well as refurbished propriety and shipyards. Despite our vast shores and overseas relations, Aquilius still lags behind more naval-minded nations when it comes to shipbuilding. We'll make investments in priority to make them up to the task. We may see a world yet in which the brand of the Chantillas Naval de Pradia carriers water. Or carries water. But if you enjoyed our very successful upload here, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I hope you guys get ready, because eventually we will do the other three political paths for the revolution for Aquilia eventually soon. Thanks for watching, though. Have a great rest of your day.